I'm Taylor Rocha reporting for FanRag Sports alongside Trevor Cahill. Trevor, how does it feel to play for your hometown team? Feels good. Um, you know, I think my parents and friends are excited, so it'll be exciting once we get to San Diego. You grew up in Oceanside. Were you able to catch a lot of games at Petco Park? Uh, yeah, I think I went to Qualcomm a lot more, you know, when I was that age. Um, some neighbors would, had season tickets and they'd always take me, so, you know, it was, I was fortunate enough to go to quite a few games. So you're a veteran. You're coming on this team with an all-star presence. You are a defending World Series champion. How are you able to use that experience to benefit the clubhouse atmosphere? Um, you know, right now it's, you know, the early parts of camp before games start, everybody's kind of running around and, you know, there's so much to do, like, as far as drills. I think we'll get a, a little bit more comfortable once games start. You know, there's some sitting around time and, you know, can talk to the guys a little bit more. But, um, you know, I don't know, me and Clayton um, play together there and, um, you know, it was just, I think just having that winning attitude, you know, I think that was the biggest thing is, you know, that being on a winning team, they expect it to win, and, you know, that confidence. And um, with a young team, I feel like a lot of guys just trying to get acclimated and, you know, establish themselves as big leaguers. But, you know, I think if as long as we, uh, you know, keep our mind on, you know, winning every day and um, feeling like, like we should win every day, I think the rest will take care of itself. So what's the best piece of advice that you could give to a young baseball player? Um, <laughs> best, uh, to not worry about... You know, I know there's a lot of competition in camp, but just go out there and do your thing. You know, I remember, you know, the competitions. I know some guys, you know, would go home and look on and see how, you know, one guy hit in a spring training game and, you know, and not worry about themselves as much, see what the other guy's doing. And, you know, I think as, as long as everybody worries about themselves and, you know, is prepared and does the best they can, you know, that's all, you know, they can control. So you have been a relief pitcher the last two years with the Cubs. How is your approach different now that you're competing for a starting spot with the Padres? Um, it's not too much different. Um, same throwing program coming into the springs. Um, just pitch longer, I guess. They'll leave me out there longer. But other than that, just go out there and do the best I can and you know, try and main maintain uh, my arm strength and everything throughout you know, a camp where I'm getting stretched out, which I haven't done in a couple years. So. What is your favorite thing that you did this off season that did not involve a baseball? I didn't do much of anything actually. Um, <laughs> we went to the White House. That was cool. And then I don't know, just watching my daughter grow up, just daily stuff like that. No, no big, no big vacations or anything. Yeah, no time for that with all of the chaos after the World Series. I'm sure. Yeah, you got home late, and then it's like next thing you know, you're starting to your workout program again. So it was a quick off season, and you know we traveled so much. I was just kind of wanted to stay at home. Well, thank you so much. Good luck this season. I'm Taylor Rocha reporting for Fanrag Sports.